Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here. Today we're going to be studying the third grade science book, Motion and Matter, Investigation 2, Patterns of Motion, Part 3, Twirly Birds. Question, what happens to the motion of a twirly bird when the design changes? Let's find out. Today, we are going to investigate a new system. This system is called a twirly bird. For this investigation, you're gonna need a sheet of paper, some scissors, and some paper clips. So let's make our twirly bird. One sheet of paper can make four twirly birds. First, take your paper and fold it in half. and then open it up and fold it, fold one side in half again, so it'll be in quarters, like so. Then take your scissors and cut where you fold it. Put the rest of the paper aside Take this and fold it in half, but don't crease it. Just crease it a little bit on the ends. And where you creased it, cut one third of the way. Like so. And then fold it into thirds. And this is the base of your twirly bird. Next, you're going to go to the other side and cut straight down the center. almost to the end, but leave about a half an inch. So now it kind of looks like, um, I guess a paintbrush with two rabbit ears. Fold one of the rabbit ears down one side and then flip it over and fold the other rabbit ear down the other side. Put one of the paper clips on the bottom of the handle and there you have your twirly bird. Now let's test our twirly bird. Test of our standard twirly bird. Next, we will be making another twirly bird, except this time we're going to be changing some of the variables. So let's go ahead and cut the next fold and fold it in half, but only crease the ends and then cut on that fold one third of the way. So it looks like that. And then fold in thirds. Like that. And then cut down the middle of the other end But leave about a half an inch so it looks kind of like this again fold one of the ears down one and one way and the uh, flip it over and then fold the other ear the other way and add our pip paper clip to the base now this time the variable is, a variable is anything that we can change 
that might affect the outcome or how the twirly bird flies. So the one change I'm going to make is I'm going to make the wings shorter. So let's cut the wings, how about in half? And let's see how this twirly bird flies. This is our standard twirly bird. And this is our twirly bird with our variable of shorter wings. Our focus question for today is what happens to the motion of our twirly bird when the design changes? Did you notice a difference between the motion of our twirly bird with shorter wings and our standard? And did you see how much faster the twirly bird with shorter wings fell to the ground? Try it at home. Come up with your own variable. Teach somebody how to make a twirly bird and show them how to make a standard twirly bird and one with variables. Until next time, have a great day.